Hello everybody, my name is Tom and welcome to my brand new golf channel. I hope you are excited to join me on this epic journey through the golfing world. So we're gonna start off this channel with a bit of a series where we are going to be trying to get to a single figure handicapper by the end of 2022. We've got about 150 days to do it and I'm currently a 17.2 handicap. So we've got to somehow alleviate on average 7.2 strokes per round of my current scores and it's going to be a challenge i'm excited this is not just a golf journey it's also going to be a fitness journey for me in the last year i have become a dad and uh, dad bods are real i'm not going to lie it's almost inevitable that it's going to happen so i'd love to get a bit more trim whilst we're doing this series so we're going to focus on a few different things we're going to be fo focusing on fitness we're going to be focusing on strength we're going to be focusing on flexibility and also the old bod. Hopefully we can get a bit trimmer. All of those things roll into getting better at golf. I know that golf is one of those sports that you can play well into your older age and uh, it's a very forgiving sport but if you want to be like super competitive at it you do need to be athletic as well for the most part. So by running this series it's going to hold me accountable to getting better at golf not only that but also getting in better shape. So the plan for this video is to head out onto the Hertfordshire Golf Course which is my current club um, we will play the first three holes. I will tell you everything you need to know about this channel, a bit more about me. We'll also go into more details uh, about where we're at right now. So we'll do a whole load of benchmarking. So what's my current handicap? How do I think I can improve um, weight, BMI, flexibility, and a whole load of other stuff just to see where we're kind of at. We'll also do a what's in the bag and how far we hit the clubs as well towards the end. So let's go and get onto the first tee box. Okay, so the first here at the Hertfordshire is a par four, is a 374 yard SI10. Let's give it a good old whack with the driver. It's quite a bit of space to miss out right, so I don't mind the right miss. That has got to clear the tree. Okay, that has not cleared the tree. That's hit the leaves at the bottom and potentially hit off the trunk. So this might be a dodgy one. Not a bad start, we made good connection. That's all we could ask for the first shot with all those pre-jitter nerves right in front of the clubhouse. Anyway, a little bit about me. My name is Tom, um, I am 33. I've been a YouTuber for the past 10 years. Um, I have been primarily doing FIFA YouTube uh, throughout my years, I've also dabbled with Pokemon Go. And most recently in the last nine months, I've started a golf channel, yes, another one, with my friend Oakley, which is called The Absolute Bandits. We'll get more into that in a second. I am lucky enough to be married. I have a daughter. She is nine months old and she is just the most amazing little person. I'm so blessed to have her in my life. She is just hilarious. So my family is my priority and I'm quite lucky and fortunate enough to get a bit of free time around my job. So that's why golf has kind of come into my life and I thought that it'd be a really interesting challenge to see if we could go from that 17 handicap down to single figures. Now I've been super unfortunate here because not only have I hit this tree, I've actually been spat backwards, even though I hit the lower branches, I thought I would go underneath and continue going. Um, so we still have a long way in, 181, pin is tucked on the back left hand corner of the green. I've got to kind of bump a five iron up the fairway and get it as far up as possible to open up that back left hand pin. So um, we're just gonna take the five iron and just get this one moving. And moving it is, right, that'll keep on rolling for quite a while. God bless the summer, eh? That's partly why all these fairways are so burnt out. We've just had the hottest day on record in the UK. So if you haven't already checked out the Absolute Bandit channel, go and check it out. The link will be down in the description. Go give it a sub. That's me and Oakley as a duo out on the golf course, uh, doing a variety of challenges and just fun sorts of golf videos. Um, this is going to be a bit more serious. This is going to be my personal journey in golf. So what have I got planned in terms of uploads for this channel? Well, I'm gonna try and do a weekly recap where we sort of go into depth about what sort of practice, training, fitness I've been doing to get better, stronger, striking the ball better. It might be putting, whatever it is, I'm gonna share what I've learned with you. And hopefully you guys can learn through me giving you my experience. On top of that, I'm thinking that I might do full rounds of golf where I go out, play a full 18, show you every shot, and sort of tell you what I was thinking in certain times and where I think I need to improve and what I did good and what I did bad, all that sort of stuff. 
and potentially anything else that comes up, anything solo as a golfer that I find or might think you guys will be interested in, I will upload it here. We're not too far away from the green here. Uh, we're about 37 yards to the middle. I actually need to fly it a little bit further because uh, there is a shelf and I definitely want to be at the top of that shelf um, for my putt because then I've got a chance at par. The opportunity to get par will be greatly reduced if we don't make it there. I'm gonna use my 60 degree here and just give it a good old clap. Oh, I've pulled it a little bit. Hopefully that's gonna get up the slope though. Go on, hold on. All right, we pulled it, but it's managed to get up the slope. We're putting for par. Maybe we can make it. All right, we've got about a 15 footer here, so this is no joke. The main aim is to try and get out of here without a three putt. That's quite a good putt. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. I can't ask for anything more there. Line was a little bit dodgy, but it was rolling end over end. We got the weight absolutely perfect. And we'll start the video off with a bogey. So we've made it to the second here at the heart of the shear. It's a 365 yard par four. It's SI4, very narrow through the valley, but it opens up a lot on the other side. And you can even get away with the odd slice here and there. Okay, let's see how far we can get it up there with the driver known as Crystal. That is an absolute bullet. We have cut the corner slightly. There is a bunker on the left-hand side of the fairway, so that has got me a little bit worried. But if we've cleared it, we'll be very, very close to the green because that is an absolute monster drive. Okay, so my current handicap, as you can see on the screen, is 17.2, lots of work to be done. But with 150 days, I think that we can get it done. I've been playing golf for about a year now. I moved away from London up to Hertfordshire and I met my friends at the pub and I asked them, what do you all do? And they said to me that they all play golf. I immediately said that I would not be getting involved um, because I played golf when I was about 16 for six months and I just never really clicked with it. I enjoyed it when I was doing it, but then it just never really followed through. So I thought I'd had my time with golf and I was never going back. Lo and behold, about three weeks later, I'm out on the course, absolutely loving it. And now I'm a complete addict. Now I'm what you would call a traveler golfer. I don't really like just playing the same course over and over again. I like to go and travel around and try different courses, see different courses, all that sort of stuff. And so that's not the best thing for your handicap because if you were just consistently playing the same course over and over again, you would end up learning where to miss, like where the greens roll, all of those sorts of things. And it would make it a lot easier for to shoot a lower score. And I see that at the Hertfordshire because I usually regularly break 90 here, but whenever I play anywhere else, I'm usually shooting like 92, 93, 94, anywhere around that sort of mark but I don't think I'm going to change that because golf is supposed to be for enjoyment. And although I want my handicap to go down, especially for this series, I still want to enjoy playing golf. So we're going to have to find a way to get good enough at golf that we can shoot single figure handicaps at courses that I've never played before. Now we found our ball. We're about a meter off the fairway to the left-hand side. That was a really aggressive line, probably too aggressive to be honest, because 10 meters left of this, I'd be dead. It would be out of bounds. Great drive though, about 260 yards and we've got about 80 yards to the middle of the green. Uh, pin is actually at the front, so I'm going to take a uh, sand wedge here and pretty much full swing at it and see if we can get it to drop close. That could be very good. Oh my God. It's literally one hop, stop dead, and it is right next to the pin. We might be making birdie here, come on. Now, before we go and see how close that shot is to the pin, we're going to go and do the awkward thing for me. We're going to go jump on the scales and see what the damage is. You know what? It's not as bad as I thought. I did thought I was going to be pushing like 90 kgs, but 85.6. For those of you who work in old money like me, that is 13 stone 6. I was pleasantly surprised, I won't lie. 13 6 isn't too bad. I would love to get down to my ideal weight. When I was at university and I was relatively fit and muscular, I was 12 and a half stones. So getting down to that kind of weight would be great. I did a BMI calculation and as you can see, it does put me in the overweight category just slightly for someone who is five foot 10. So we're going to have to work on that, try and get a bit healthier. Okay, so here is where the ball pitched. It was so close to dunking, my goodness. 
Anyway, the ball has actually rolled on just a little bit. Um, so it's a bit further than I would have liked, but we've got a really good opportunity to make a birdie here. This would be a big moment if we could roll this one in. Come on. That's good. No way, how have I lipped out there? Oh, I would have loved to go back level. I would have loved to go back level, but you know what? You can't complain with a par, a really, really easy par as well. So very, very happy with our start through two. A little bit unlucky that that tree did so much bad work for us on the first, but we've got a really nice, easy par five coming up to finish off the video. Now I didn't benchmark my strength and my fitness, but I did do a flexibility test this morning. Uh, so have a look at the footage. As you can see, I can just about get down to touching my ankles. So hopefully we'll be able to see some improvements on that front as well. We're going to be doing yoga throughout this process to hopefully increase our flexibility and we'll be able to potentially touch our toes, but that will have to come in due course. Now we're going to do a really quick what's in the bag before moving into the final hole. I have got Arcos in all of my clubs and you can see the smart distances on the left hand side of the screen for each of my clubs and how far they go. Not on average, but it's like the upper end of what I will hit. So if I strike it well, that's how far we can expect to hit them. We have got tailor-made stealth, uh, stiff shaft uh, irons all the way from five down to pitching wedge. And we even have the approach wedge, which is a 50, the sound wedge, which is a 54, and the lob wedge, which is a 5960. We then have Crystal, our driver. Um, she is a uh, Callaway Epic Max and she is fantastic. We have a five wood uh, that is a tailor-made stealth. And then our putter is a tailor-made hydro blast in the Soto range. So yes, we've seen all our distances. Hopefully those will improve throughout the challenge as well, but we're going to be able to keep track of everything. And a lot of our training will come down to what Arcos says because it has loads of really good data. We've got quite an ominous sky here for the final hole. It's a 441 yard par five and it's SI18, so the easiest on the course. It's all dead left, so let's make sure we keep it right. That is very, very good. That is as straight as you like, straight in the middle of the fairway. Hasn't gone as long as I would have liked, but that is purely because the wind is straight in my face, so these things can't be helped. So day one, what have I done to improve in some shape or form? Well, I had an evil day, which made this kind of difficult. Um, but Eve, my daughter, she loves to have a nap. So in the morning, she takes a half hour nap. So I thought, you know what? Perfect time to get her off to sleep in the pram and I can just go and do a bit of yoga. So I did 20 minutes of yoga. I will leave a link to it down in the description if you wanna go and do the video tutorial that I did. I won't lie, it was a bit of an eye opener because although it was a very easy intro to yoga, I still struggled quite a lot. Then during Eve's second nap, I put her in the back of the car and drove her around until she fell asleep, came up to the putting green. I took her out of the car, I put her in the shade underneath a tree so she could take her nap and I could get some putting drills done. So I started off with the clockwork putting drill where you go round and round in a circle trying to hold the four putts. I'm not good enough to do like 40 in a row yet. So like I was counting as if I got four in in a row, that would count as one rotation and one point and I tried to get to 10 points. Then I did the ladder challenge where you put a bunch of tee pegs at further and further distances apart. You putt from the first tee peg. If it goes in, you move back one and uh, you keep on going as long as you can. Just keep on going back until you get to the end. Uh, if you miss a putt though, you have to come back forward. So I've never made it to the end yet but that will be something that we're aiming to do. So that's just an example of me getting inventive as a father to get some practice and some fitness in. Now we have got 213 to the center of this green. It's dead left and it has also got a bunker, big bunker on the right. Don't think we want to be in either of those situations. So I'm actually gonna lay up here because if I take my five iron, I quite often find myself scooting very far right or potentially hooking it. There's not very many times where it goes dead straight. So we're gonna lay up far back from the bunker. We're gonna take a nine iron, that won't get us anywhere close to it. We're just gonna try and put it in the middle of the fairway. That is as clean a hit as I could possibly ask for. It might scoot to the right hand side of the fairway and maybe just into the rough, but it's not the worst place to be. Now I've been reliably informed by my watch and Arcos that we have got 86 to the middle where the flag is. Um, 
It's playing more like 95, so I'm actually gonna take a full uh, approach wedge here, which will go 100 for me if I strike it well. Um, I'll probably keep it a little bit further left of the flag, just because I'm worried that if I have sort of like a bit of a shank, it will end up in the bunker. So we're just trying to avoid the real danger here. That could be very good. That could be very good indeed. All right. After the second hole and me saying it was really close and then it being a bit further away, I'm not going to say anything, but I feel like that might be a good shot. Well, we did go a little bit long, but that is absolutely fine. We're GIR, like, you know how many GIRs are hitting the round? Very few, we've hit two out of three here, so uh, I am extremely happy. It does feel like it's sloping to the right just a little bit, so I will give it just a touch left and see if we can get this one to drop. That might drop. Oh my. Hey, you know what? That probably has to be some of the solid or most solid golf you'll ever see out of me. I won't lie. Very, very happy with that. We were one over through three holes. We could have potentially made two birdies. We had very good opportunities. I cannot be upset with that. That is fantastic. Now, this is actually the second time that I filmed this video. I didn't like the first attempt because it was really overexposed and it didn't look good, but the golf was fantastic. And I was like, will I even get close to that? And I really did because in that video, I actually went par, bogey, birdie. So we went level par through the three, but one over, this golf was probably as consistent, if not more consistent, because I was a bit lucky in that video. So yes, very, very happy. Of course, next week we'll be going into a bit more detail about um, where I think I'm losing shots, where I need to try and gain shots, all those sorts of things with the help of Arcos. We'll be doing a recap on all the stuff that I've done this week to get better, all the putting drills, the chipping drills, the lessons, because I'm having lessons and things like that. I've had 11 lessons so far down here at Hertfordshire, so that's kind of how we've improved uh, at such a drastic rate. Because at the start of my journey, when I started playing a year ago, I was shooting about 115, 110, and we've managed to drop that by quite a bit. So, fingers crossed we can just get like five or six strokes by Christmas and then we'll be sorted pretty much series over so hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please do smash a big old thumbs up subscribe if you want to join me on this journey thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one